Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Sunday at noon, the Saints and 49ers will square off at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for the third straight season. The Saints won last year, 23-20, and today at Saints camp, we heard from Coach Sean Payton. It, I think this, I think, uh, number one, just within the framework of certain routes, you know, you work on detail and he's done a good job with that. He's high pointing balls well. Um, and then I think within the framework of, of releases and, you know, each week it's it's a different way where someone's going to try to reroute him at the line of scrimmage. I think he, he's, you know, handling that well. I think he's doing a good job in the run game. And, and I think, you know, that, that balance is important, you know, uh, with him being on the field. And it wouldn't be Friday without Rob Ryan scouting the matchup. Man, you see him, he's the best quarterbacks in football every week, so... Uh, you know, we're on point, we're ready to go. We know the zone reads coming, we know the scrambles, and, and uh, you know, the thing, he is unique. He does throw the ball really well when he's on the run. And uh, we're gonna have to be on point. This team, trust me, this team's got Frank Gore, and they wanna ram that ball down our throats. Right after this, we're back in the studio for Fridays with Fox 8. Don't go anywhere. Affordable luxury is here at the Ray Brandt Infinity Pre-Owned Center. Over 100 of the world's finest luxury cars and trucks are on sale. Infinity, Acura, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, Porsche, Land Rover, Jaguar, and more. All within reach. And special low luxury financing rates makes it easy to buy. Affordable luxury is here at Ray Brandt Infinity of Metairie Pre-Owned Center. 3700 North Causeway Boulevard, Metairie. Welcome back. Let's welcome in now Fox 8's Garland Gillen. Hey, Garland. It's football weather outside, yes, huh? Yes, I came in here with a jacket. It's October, November, December. We're finally getting into uh, the football weather, which means the playoffs are, are getting close, for I at least know. for high school and college, and, and the pro ranks getting closer to that, you know, where teams are starting to situate themselves. Are they contenders or the pretenders? Right. The Saints now in first place, believe it or not, in the NFC South, and they'll be indoors for the matchup against San Francisco. And Garland, I'm going to be watching both running games. Mark Ingram going against the one of the toughest run defenses in San Francisco and of course the Saints defense needs to take advantage of the Niners offensive crisis really they 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 allowed eight sacks last week no real run threat last week against St. Louis so what do you think I, I think that right now Colin Kaepernick in this offense uh, not a lot of confidence I don't think him throwing the ball you're, you're worried as a Saints defense him throwing the ball uh, mostly, it, that's the only way I think the Niners win this game is if Frank Gore gets on fire right now uh, with the run game because I just don't think Colin Kaepernick has that uh, confidence to throw the ball downfield. I know he's got good receivers and Michael Crabtree and Anquan Bolden and Vernon Davis, but I'm just not buying right now with Colin Kaepernick selling. Um, you could see against St. Louis Rams, he did not have a lot of confidence and it showed at the end of the game when right. they couldn't pull out the victory. Right, yeah, and we've seen in the past when the Niners have come to the, to the Superdome that the crowd noise has really gotten to Colin Kaepernick. So. Yeah, and I expect that again this week. Uh, the, the Superdome's going to be rocking. The Saints fans feel that, that the Houdats are back in the uh, in the playoff mix. And right now, I think it's it's the Saints to win the NFC South. I know we have eight games left, mm -hmm. but the weakness of the other teams in the division, and now that the Saints are coming on, I think this is going to be a, a week that the Saints fans will be celebrating possibly a big-time win. Right. I, I agree with you. So do you think it's going to be a close one? I think the Saints win by a touchdown. I think mm -hmm. they win 27-20. to 20. Uh, I just think that right now the Saints have finally figured it out. They're like LSU right now. Uh, LSU had some problems early in the season, but they figured out an offensive defense. I think the same with the Saints. They finally figured out 50% uh, run and pass. They've given the ball to Mark Ingram, killing him with the deep ball now with Brandon Cooks and Kenny Stills mm -hmm. in the mix. So uh, the defense is finally uh, getting back to where they wanted to be. Uh, Corey White got some uh, timely uh, interceptions recently, so mm -hmm. I think it's all coming together for the offensive defense of the black and gold. Right, I agree with you. I think it's going to be about a touchdown margin. And I said 24-17, so we were basically pretty much the same there. And I didn't look at your notes beforehand, so there you go. You know, I just came right here. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> well, now we're going to go to our Saints Trivia Challenge. And this week, we asked you, 
When was the last time a Saint rushed for at least 100 yards against the 49ers? And who was it? Well, many of you sent in the correct answer, the Saints' beloved Deuce McAllister in 2006 when he had 26 carries for 136 yards and the Saints won that game. So Garland... The best uh, part of my day right here. I got a 13-hour work day. This is it right here. Picking yes. the name in the hat. Uh, who we got here? Out of our helmet. Let's see. Akash Patel. All right, Akash. I hope I, said, I hope I said that right. I got Patel. I know that. Yes, I'm going to yes. go with Akash Patel. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, Akash, congratulations. You are the proud owner of a Saints luggage tag and ID set. So congratulations. Uh, keep sending in your answers all season. And we love to hear from our viewers all over the world. Well, Garland, thanks a lot for the insight. No doubt. I can't wait. Uh, as we get closer to the playoffs, I'll be back here. We're going to be talking about, you know, playoff seating and all that. But right now, the, I, I just really think that the black and gold have figured it out. And I think it's going to be a fun ride here in November and December for the Saints in the regular season. Right. Three straight home games coming up for the black and gold. So this, this is their chance to really separate themselves in the NFC South. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you again on Monday.